Hello people, in this quick tutorial I will show you how to create the spotlight effect in your portraits. What is a spotlight effect? Imagine that at the back of the model, as we have here in Lightroom, you have one spotlight that gives emphasis in the background and separates the main subject, which is our portrait, from the background. We will see four examples, as you see here. By this way, you will see how to create this effect and separate your main subject from the background and give a little bit pop-up. Let's jump on Lightroom and see with the new masks how we will do it. We have here our girl studying. So, first of all, in order to see more visible the effect what we want to do, let's reduce the exposure and then let's create one mask. We come here and we choose Radial Gradient. And we create one layer which will be supposed the spotlight at the back of our subject. These small circles controls the feather of this effect. So, at the moment, we want to be a bit feathered, just like here. What we'll do, we will subtract, subtract our subject. So, we create one mask, a radial gradient, controls all the area, but we subtract our model. And what remains? remains the area at the back of the model. You see the red area at the back of our model. And now we increase the exposure in order to give this spotlight effect. Now you will tell me that the main subject is dark. Of course, I agree with you. So for that reason, we create a new mask, select subject, and we increase the exposure just on our subject in order to balance the photo. And now, we increase the exposure of our model. Let's press the Backspace key. We'll see the before and after. Before and after. You see, at the back of the subject, this glow that is coming, it mimics the spotlight effect. This time I will not decrease the exposure overall. So I create a radial gradient mask. I will place it where is my main subject. This time I will not give so big feather. And what I will do, I will subtract here our subject. So the one mask, we deduct the other mask. And what remains is the one that we want. You see the area, we don't care so much about the hair here, because as you will see, we will increase the exposure, like we had a spotlight at this time, and we separate the background from our main subject. Look again, look how it was, and how it looks now. You see this separation of our main subject and the background. You can see more clearly in our next example. Let's work again the same way. We create a radial gradient mask. We place it where is our subject. We don't want so big. Every mask is different. It's not that just copy and paste. Okay, subtract now our main subject and you will have just the area that you like to be affected. And after that, we increase the exposure. Negative temperature. Let's press down. Have a look how it was like this. And with the mask that we apply, we create this spotlight effect. You see the separation, what I mean, the main subject and the background. They gives this gives you the 3D effect that you are looking in the photo. Look how the main subject pop-ups from the environment. This is what we wanted. On this photo, because it's already bright, I will do the same trick as the first one. I reduce by one stop. After that, I create a mask. 
I place the mask where is my main subject and then what I will do I subtract my main subject and then we increase the exposure and in order to be more accurate we create a new mask just to bright up our main subject because if you remember in the beginning we reduced the exposure by one stop and that's it let's see now before and after before one more time and after you see the separation and you see how easy it was with the new masking tools that Lightroom applied we continue with this one followed afterwards by this one where is the big effect visible and we finish I want to show you one more time the steps that we did so first of all I create one mask how it was that mask it was a radial gradient mask you see here and I subtract my main subject so what remains the area at the back of my main subject by having this area as you see I increase the exposure in order to give them a light mimics the light of a spotlight that I supposed to have at the back also here I increase from my main subject the exposure because I reduce it on the beginning the only difference that we did was in our third photo in the mask I will show you now I reduce also the temperature you know to give this blue glow in uh, our light that's it for this tutorial I show you how to create the spotlight effect and how to mimic it in order to give more emphasis to your main subject how to make your portrait pop up and stand out from the background I hope you find useful if you like it please make a like and subscribe in my channel also if you find it useful share it with your friends in order to give more people access to this tutorial until next time thank you guys bye